the car Friday lunchtime and uh, once again we've come to the vets third visit this week for various tablets and bits and pieces and we've got to Minnie with us. Now, what's going on with Minnie? That's what we want to find out. Why is she running late? Because uh, she should have been further on than what she is. So we're going to get a pregnancy test done on her. See what's going on. And she's not been eating. She's not been eating for a couple of days. She's having bits and pieces, but... Uh, mm. Now Mum's giving her a bit of uh, guava fruit, guava juice, which you'll see later in this vlog. We have some guavas cropping on a tree. So yeah, the lovely Minnie's come to get a check out. So, and as you can see, the staff at the vets are having the lunch, which is a favourite pastime of Thai's eating. Probably the number one. So, watch this bit. Yes, yes. She's a lovely dog, is Minnie, aren't you? She's got a bit of an aroma with her today because prior to coming here, me, uh, Mem's given her a rub down in wood vinegar. It's the cheap op option. It's what a lot of Thais do to uh, disguise odours. So there you go. I haven't been washed in wood vinegar yet, but you never know. So here we are. Here's the number one vet in Thailand. Checking her out. No baby. No. No baby. No baby. Right, that confirms it for me. No yeah. Yeah, not pregnant. Oh dear. Oh dear. Be, gonna be a few people disappointed. So there you go. Mm. I think that's what's termed as a false pregnancy. So there you go. But anyway, while she's here, she may as well get checked out. So ah, disappointing. But there you go. She's a family pet. So I've been given a, a gift by the uh, the vet who owns this uh, company. So he's given me a diary. Mm. So very nice of him. Well, not surprising the one he's had off us this week. <laughs> but there you go, there you go. Now back home from the vets and uh, here's Minnie. Here's our Minnie. Yes, yes. Hey, she's a great dog, she is. She is a great dog with a great attitude. Yeah, she's not a bit uh, violent, but yeah, she uh, she stands her grounds nowadays. Like she doesn't want to mess about with uh, butter at all. Like so, yeah. So yeah, back home, safe and sound. That's what happens, girl. Yeah, can't be all winners. Gives you a break anyway. So, right, also, today, Friday, shopping day at the big supermarket, I bumped into a chap who uh, sometimes watches our channel and he didn't know who I uh, was when I approached him and said, you're from Manchester, aren't you? To which took him back a bit, but... Uh, then after I told him who I uh, was, he, uh, we had a bit chat, nice to uh, finally meet up. And uh, he informed me that later on tonight, because of the weather conditions, uh, it has been a bit drizzly. We've had a little bit of drizzle, but not, not much. 
uh, there's a storm heading in. So I thought, right, I better cover these uh, back kennels over uh, with the plastic sheeting. And then if it does come to fruition, then the final piece will drop down here and clip onto these latches here to make these uh, back kennels uh, waterproof. Well, this morning we've come out to have a look at another bloody Thai breeder. So, watch this space. This is about 50 kilometers, no, 30 kilometers from the uh, village. So, really, this is local competition. So, mm. So, let's see what goes on here. Mmm. Hello, girl. What's the matter, lad? Hey? Hey? Well, better, better conditions than what we've seen before. Good boy. Yes, yes. So it looks like he's got about one, two, three, four females in the mail. So there you go. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. He's a young dog, maybe two years. No, no, he's 14 months old. 14 months? Yeah, just, just. Yeah, he's a young dog. <laughs> this tie breeder. Now, I've never shown, I've not shown his face on the vlog because I've personally don't want to and uh, getting uh, Mem talking uh, to him about the situation these dogs like and I, I said to Mem these are bloody young dogs uh, I would think that male's about two year old but he wasn't he was 14 month old so but see another one selling with no paperwork and the conditions of his cages well i suppose a bit of an improvement in a fashion but not size wise at least they had a roof over their head but he had them under a, a carport and uh, they don't get out much it's your typical Thai breeder uh, financial gain. I keep harping on about it, but that's what it is. Nothing to do with the welfare of them. In fact, the statement he made was at about 
five year old, five and a half year old maximum, he gives them dogs away. That's why I said to them, they all look uh, young, except for the male, but the male's young also. So all, all them females, he had four or five. The one that I sort of made contact with, uh, that licked me hand and that like, it didn't look very well at all, like it looked very dissipated, like very thin. But Mem informed me he just got it like, so. Uh, but I personally want to classify him as suspect. And making a statement like that, that he gives the dogs away at a certain point, well, tells you one thing, doesn't it? So there's another, another uh, so-called Thai breeder brought to the forlorn. So keep watching, keep watching. You know where to come to. Bye for now.